Fans of Stephen King's It had a burning question for decades, ever since the novel came out in 1986. Is the town of Derry, Maine evil because Pennywise lives beneath it? Or does Pennywise live beneath it because it's an especially dastardly, sinister place? Rolling. Hey guys, I'm Anthony Bresnikan. I wrote about the new adaptation of It in our fall movie preview, and I'm dying to see this film. I've loved this book ever since I was a kid, and I think it's gonna explore a really interesting side of a villain who has become iconic among horror fans, Pennywise the Dancing Clown. He's played by Bill Skarsgård in this film, although everybody remembers Tim Curry from the 1990 TV miniseries, even if they didn't necessarily love that show. Tim Curry was scary as hell, and Bill Skarsgård has a lot to live up to. Very big shoes, literally and figuratively, to fill with this character. But the thing I can't get over, and the thing I can't wait for the movie to explore, is the psychology of Derry. In the new trailer for the film, we see one character uh, being held by a bunch of bullies on the rails of a bridge. He's being cut with a knife just a kid surrounded by other kids who appear to be murdering him. A car drives by and the middle-aged couple within both turn and look at this and then look away and keep driving. As the car disappears, a red balloon floats up in the back seat, the symbol of Pennywise. Are they evil? Are they what feeds this monster or is the monster twisting their minds? I think it's a really interesting question, especially for these times.